In today's tutorial, we're not just going to go from to the gallery and download one of the gallery projects, but today we're going to show you how you can copy and edit that project file in the Power BI.tips theme generator. So today we're going to take the framed orange and copy and edit. What you'll notice is that automatically opens up the background and wireframes in our area here. What is downloaded into our workspace is a palette, if that was part of the project, and also any of the properties that were set on the visualizations themselves. In this one, we can easily see that there's a border applied and that the color is a, a gray. What I wanna do is make a few changes to this project file. The first thing we're going to do is curve the edges of all of the visualizations. The next thing is maybe you wanna bring your own palette into this project file and use that instead of the one that was defaulted there. So we can easily grab our hex codes of a company palette or a palette that we would prefer and add those into our project. One of the other great things that we can do in wireframes is pre-select any of the visualizations that we would want instead of the ones that are chosen for us. A great thing about the Power BI Tips theme generator in terms of a feature is say on page three, we don't want just this really large table. We can delete this visual and say, choose from a layout from any of the layouts that have been added to the gallery. So in this case, maybe I want to choose these visualizations or the boxes where my visualizations will go. These automatically get added to the workspace and we can see that I can select any visualization for this area and there are pre hot spot kind of widgets that show above that which are choosing visualizations that may fit best within that particular space. So it makes it easy to just add those in. So now we've pre-selected all of these visualizations that are easily aligned and spaced appropriately and don't and make it so we don't have to do anything ourselves. Let's download this PBIP file into a desktop so that we can start to work with it. Once we have that zip file, we can extract all of the different files from within it. And automatically open up that PBIP file. Now that the file is downloaded, we can automatically see that all of the rounded edges that we've added are included in the uh, visualization fields themselves. So what we wanna do is just quickly add data and you can add obviously your data sets, but today we're just going to add a sample data set so I can show you what those visuals populated look like. Now, if you imagine seeing your facts and dimensions within here, it's the normal Power BI experience where we can drag and drop or select particular visualizations and just add our data into the pre-canned fields that um, of the visualizations that we've added. So in this case, we may want to look at profits by month or overall segment and sales price, but ultimately what we can see is that uh, all of the properties that were set in the Power BI theme generator have come down and are set on my Power BI report pages. And I haven't had to spend any time at all in the visualization aspect of things, but I get all of the value from that. The great thing about the Power BI tips theme generator is as we're exploring and making sure that all of the settings and properties for this particular report or template for many different reports can all be updated from the My Files section. So everything that's created, you'll see as you're in here, and once you save it, will be loaded up into My Files 
so that all those properties can be set one time for all of your reports that are done um, that you're creating. So if I ever want to go back and edit or change or add pages or remove pages, I can just open up my own version of what started as a gallery project file. Stay tuned for next time when we talk about the new AI features within the gallery itself. Thank you.